All right, we want to graph x squared minus 6x plus 8. So since it's an x squared, um, and, you know, it's a quadratic function, I know that it's a parabola. So you want to select the parabola shape from your tools here. And when you do that, um, you need two pieces of information to graph it. You need the vertex and the x-intercept. So the vertex we find with the negative b over 2a and f of negative b over 2a. That's the vertex. And here our b is negative 6, so it's going to be positive 6. This is double negative over 2 times 1, which is 3. So i got to plug 3 into the function to find what f of negative b over 2a is. So we know negative b over 2a now is 3, so I'm just plugging that into the function. So it's going to be 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 8. So it's 9 minus 9 plus 8, which is just 8. So my vertex is 3, 8. So your first point that you're going to plot using the parabola tool is 3, 8, which is a problem because 8 is not an option here. That probably means I made a mistake. So I can see my mistake now. This should have been minus 18, so 9 minus 18 is negative 9, plus 8 would be negative 1. That we can graph. So 3, negative 1. That's our vertex, so you click on that point to get your vertex. And um, immediately it's going to want that second point. And the second point they want is the x-intercept. Um, so the x-intercept is found by taking the function and setting it equal to zero and solving. And this can factor to x minus 2, x minus 4. So we get two x-intercepts. We get x, x equals 2 and x equals 4. Uh, either one is fine. I'm going to use 2, which you can use 4 if you want. So that second point is going to be the x-intercept 0, 2. And then once you click that second point, you'll see your parabola should be going through that 4 also. I drew a terrible parabola, but your computer will draw a nice neat one for you.